Well, hello everybody, what is good? Atlanta Sports with Slida, AKA Sports Live in ATL here on this Friday. Uh, Braves recap of last night in that thrilling, uh, stressful game against the Dodgers uh, last night. I uh, did a little post game and everything, but this is what you would expect from two of the best teams in baseball, bar none. Uh, it didn't have to be that way. Uh, subscribe to the channel, everybody. Like and subscribe. Tell all your friends about it. Uh, again, don't forget, tonight I will be streaming uh, the Braves and the Dodgers. Max Freed tonight going up against Jose Urias. Who's she fine? Sorry, got a little distracted there. How you doing, sweetheart? Anyways, uh, we'll be streaming the game tonight. Special stream. Uh, all pro, all donations. I encourage, please, guys, if you ever donate to anything to my channel, please donate to uh, Beast of the East family. I will be posting his wife's cash app throughout the whole stream. I encourage... All my supporters who come in, all my supporters who watch, everybody who comes in and chat, donate five bucks, 10 bucks, whatever. Uh, for those who don't know, Beast of the East, longtime friend of mine on YouTube, uh, tragically passed away about a week and a half ago. Two really good friends of mine have passed away in the last week, two weeks, and I will be doing things for them. Eight Camel Toes, obviously, for the Panthers Falcons, week one, and Beast of the East Jimmy uh, tonight, please, guys. Take all, if you don't like me, take away that and just look at the fact that we, uh, somebody lost their life and everything. And, uh, just saying, um, and I will be posting it throughout the game stream and I will talk about it throughout the whole game stream. And I will encourage and stress forcefully that everybody do their part to help uh, his family, his wife and his kids. Um, a recap of the game last night, Braves win it by a score of eight to seven over the Dodgers. Uh, and what many people say is an NLCS preview, not me. I, I've never been one to say that. These, I mean, these two teams are clearly the favorites to make it, but that doesn't mean anything. When it comes to the playoffs, everything is different. Okay, you cannot sit and say that the Braves and the Dodgers are going to be in the NLCS. You don't know. Braves didn't make it last year. You got to take it. I, I mean, I'm a firm believer of that. You know, just because you want something to happen, or you expect it to happen doesn't mean it's going to happen. You, you will not find that kind of confidence on my channel because unlike, unlike you know, Braves podcasters and sports fans, I'm a realist. I, I'm, a real, I'm a realist. The playoffs are a completely different ball of wax. Now, is this a series that'll help uh, determine where either of these two teams go? Yes, because both teams are fighting for home field. Home field advantage means a lot in the playoffs. It helped the Braves in 2021. It didn't do it last year. Dodgers had home field last year. They didn't make it to the World Series. The Phillies did before they just do what all Philly teams do and choke. Um, but this is an important series. Uh, I, I've heard some some Braves fans and even Jake Masteroni of Locked On Braves or whatever said the dumbest comment I ever heard this game really doesn't mean anything during this uh, uh, d uh, for the season. What? Are you serious, bro? I swear, some of us who just do nine to five jobs know more about the Braves than these guys do, and they get paid more. Of course, this means a lot. This series is for home field. Okay, one year home field may not mean anything, like last year, but home field definitely meant a lot for the Braves, and they didn't even have home field. They were the fourth playoff team going into the 2021 playoffs, and they stole home field. They stole home field against the Brewers. Uh, they had home field against the Dodgers, took advantage of that, and uh, they had home field against the – they did not have home field against the Astros, and they took that away from them. So home field means a lot. Um, and by no way uh, did Spencer Strider uh, cost the Braves tonight – or last night, somebody said Spencer Strider uh, needed to be bailed out last night. What? Now, I've been critical of Strider at times. I have. But this guy pissed his ass off last night. Uh, one bad pitch to make it a closer ball game that was almost caught by Acuna. The bullpen sucked last night. Let's be real. Jimenez came in throwing BBs and gave up two blasts. Uh... Somebody gave a uh, AJ Minner came up against a lefty Max Muncie got hammered for a home run, and let's also be real, Rousel Iglesias got the save, but if the sports gods were on the Dodgers and completing this comeback, 
they almost did it. Max Muncie and Mookie Betts just missed hitting homers in the ninth. But then again, Matt Olson just missed hitting a home run early in the game, and he's in a home run drought, 16 games. And Austin Riley, who hit one, almost hit one out. You know, it is what it is. Kudos to Iglesias for making the pitch that got Muncie and Betts just a little off their swing, or else we would be talking a whole different story, and I would be ranting like crazy. Um, and Rafael Iglesias did bounce back and struck out Kiki Hernandez on three pitches to end the ball game. So, so let's be real. Let's don't act like that uh, Spencer Strider uh, was the reason why we almost blew this game. No, not at all. Bullpen's got to get better, but this is what happens when you play better ball clubs. And I've said the Braves can get away with a lot of things during the regular season, but when you play against top teams in playoffs, and not only teams in the playoffs are tough, but the teams that can actually win a World Series. The Dodgers and the Braves, to my opinion, are the only two National League teams uh, that I think can win a World Series. I think one of these two teams will be in the World Series. Don't know which one. You know, not, not slighting the Cubs, not slighting the Phillies, not slighting uh, the, 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 the Diamondbacks, the Reds. But unless something drastically happens in the playoffs, the Dodgers or the Braves will represent the NL in the World Series, in my opinion. I, now, I could be totally wrong, and I'll come on here and admit it if I am. Okay, these, these two teams are best set. Offensively, pitching, experience, and everything. So, um, but this game last night should have been easier as, as it unfolded. You know, Braves got six runs in the second, backed by a grand slam by Ronald Acuna, the first 30 60 player in history. Mookie Betts continued to just, just drill the base. I've never, I think Mookie might be taking steroids. I really do. I have not seen this guy just with this kind of pop forever. So, I mean, Kudos to him, but you might want to you might want to test him. I'm just saying, <laughs> this guy is just hitting everything. Uh, but if we talk about the MVP race, it could go either way, Mookie or Acuna. I would love Acuna to get it, and if I had to give the edge, I would probably give it to. Uh, part of me says Acuna because he's been doing it all year, and without Acuna, I don't think the Braves are the best team in the regular season. But I do think they're winning the division again. But when Acuna's on, it makes the Braves that much better. Just overall, him getting on base, his defense when he plays well, just changes everything. But let's be real, even if Acuna had an average season, the Braves would probably win the NL East again because the Braves just own it. Now, Mookie Betts, on the other hand, if he doesn't have this near 40 homer season, whatever it's going to wind up being, I don't think the Dodgers are in this situation. I think they're probably enough to win the NL West, but I don't think they're they're close enough to be able to win home field. You know, because you could say without Mookie Betts, yeah, they still got Max Muncy and, you know, some guys who can hit the baseball, but they got a lot of guys on, on their team. I never heard of Bush. They got Kiki Hernandez coming back. I have heard of him. They got this guy, uh, Peralta, Rosario. These aren't like I mean, these are some names from other teams, but these aren't names that strike fear into you on a consistent basis. The Braves, even without Acuna, have a lineup that can destroy you. When Acuna's out, the Braves still do well. Uh, so you, if I had to you know, kind of lean a little bit, I would say, because an MVP is a player that's more important to your team. I think Ronald Acuna's absence for any period wouldn't hurt the Braves as much as Mookie Betts if he wasn't hitting, would hurt the Dodgers. I, I I would have to give Mookie Betts a slight favorite. You can disagree. That's fine, but that's just how I see it. I think without Mookie Betts putting up this type of season, the Dodgers aren't in the position to, to be at the top of the National League or top of baseball, for that matter. Because uh, he's just you know he's just going out of his mind, you know. But to me personally, I'd rather win a World Series than win an individual award. Ask the Phillies how that feels to win an individual award but still no ring, right? So Max Reed pitches tonight. Clearly got to see a better bullpen. Uh, bullpen was just atrocious last night. Um, but kudos to the Dodgers for fighting back. We all knew it. I mean, I was like an eight. To, I was like a seven to one when it got seven to four. I was like, oh god, eight to four. Okay, eight to five. Jesus Christ, eight to six. Oh hell, Muncy homers, eight to seven. And the thing is that they make it look so easy. They're like, okay, boop. You know, shout out to to uh, 
Nicky Lopez last night making a good defensive play in the first, or it could have been worse. Nice at bat, draw on the walk, nice hustle by Arcia. Uh, it's just what it is. It's a big regular season series for playoff seeding and for momentum. But in no way does this mean that the Braves or Dodgers are going to be in the NLCS together. But I do think one of these two teams will be representing the National League in the World Series. I just don't see how the Phillies make a run again. I don't see how the Reds can hold up the whole postseason. I don't see how the Diamondbacks or the Cubs. Now, I could be totally wrong. Cinderella has shined on so many teams throughout the years, like the Braves. They didn't do it for the Phillies. They took that uh, Cinderella slipper and just threw it away last year. But it does happen. But we shall see. I'm focused on right now just winning ball games. And the uh, magic number to clinch a division is 16. Probably to clinch a playoff spot is lower. Those are my top two priorities right now. Clinch a playoff spot, win the division again. Those are the top two. And then get home field. It's st baby steps here, folks. That's why we win titles for my teams lately is because we take ba baby steps. We look at the immediate and don't worry about the future. Won't worry about what's going down the road. Okay, but I hope you guys see you tonight at 10.05 p.m. Eastern Time. First pitch, 10.10. All proceeds going to Beast of the East family. Please do your part. I beg you. I'm, beg I'm begging for donations tonight. Please do your part. Okay? I would be very disappointed if I didn't get a, if, uh, uh, I didn't get a lot of uh, contributions on this for, for our friend Beast of the East. Okay? Have a heart, people. Let's help a family out. Okay? I know we can do it. I'm, I'm doing my part like I always do, and please, guys, do yours. Her cash app will be posted. It's like Cowboys Jimmy 445 Go look on the uh, preview video yesterday. It's listed, and uh, I would really, really appreciate it. But always thanks for y'all's support. I love doing the baseball game streams, the playoffs, the Falcons, college football, Hawks. It's When I do games, it usually does a lot of traction. So enough rambling. Braves beat the Dodgers 8-7 to in the first game. Game two tonight, first pitch, 10, 10 p.m. I'll see you at 10.05. Like, subscribe, go Braves.